you know, well, like I said, we'll have a production intent prototype uh, ready to show off in Q1, probably February or March. To Optimus 4, that'll be 10 million units. Optimus 5, maybe 50 to 100 million units. Tesla just wrapped up its third quarter earnings call. And as many leaks had suggested, Elon Musk officially confirmed the launch timeline for the Tesla bot Gen 3, the company's most advanced humanoid robot yet. He even hinted at development plans for future generations, Generation 4 and Generation 5. As you can imagine, that set off plenty of debate. Some people pointed out that the Gen 2 and even Gen 3 bots haven't really hit the market yet, and Musk is already promising about Gen 4 and 5. In response, Musk boldly claimed that he could command an entire army of the world's most advanced robots. Until the official launch, it's clear that the Tesla bot's abilities will go far beyond being just a household helper, cooking three meals a day, washing dishes, or cleaning the house. Right now, production versions of the Tesla bot are already hard at work in Tesla's factories, restaurants, and major company events as well as at local gatherings. So what exactly can the Tesla bot do so far? How different will the upcoming Gen 4 and Gen 5 models be compared to Gen 3? And could they actually threaten your job? We look forward to unveiling Optimus V3, you know, probably in Q1. I think it'll be ready for to to show off that that I think is going to be quite remarkable. If you it won't even seem like a robot. It'll seem like a person in a robot suit, which is kind of how we started off with Optimus. But it, it'll seem so real that you'll need to like poke it, I think, to believe that it's actually a robot. During the third quarter earnings call, Elon Musk made several major announcements about the Tesla bot to win over shareholders and investors. He's betting Tesla's future on creating a humanoid robot capable of helping people with nearly every household task, from cooking and cleaning to childcare and other useful daily work. Musk has stated no fewer than five times that Optimus will become the best-selling product in Tesla's history. Right from the start of the call, the biggest highlight was his promise about the upcoming Optimus Gen 3, which according to Musk is expected to debut in the first quarter of next year. He hinted that this version of Optimus won't even look like a robot. Instead, it'll resemble a person wearing a robot suit, so realistic that you wouldn't need to touch it to believe it's actually a machine. The new version of Optimus is expected to reach an unprecedented level of refinement with a near-perfect design that completely conceals its wiring, actuators, and mechanical joints. Every detail has been meticulously fine-tuned to create a sleek, seamless appearance, making the robot look more like a living being than a machine. Elon Musk has hinted that the next-generation Optimus will move with such natural, fluid, and flexible motion that it'll be almost impossible to tell it apart from a real human just by watching it. Several insider sources claim that the Tesla bot Gen 3 will feature an OLED display built right into its face, allowing it to show more lie-like expressions. It's also rumored to come equipped with Grok, Tesla's AI system designed for natural responsive communication. Most notably, the robot's hands are said to closely replicate the structure and movement of human hands with remarkable precision, unlocking massive potential for use in manufacturing, services, and everyday life. Although Elon Musk hasn't officially confirmed these rumors, he hasn't denied them either, leaving the tech community even more curious about what Tesla is secretly working on. According to Musk, what the public has seen so far is only Optimus 2.5. In fact, Optimus 2.5 has already made a strong impression with its remarkably fluid performance. During the premiere of Tron Ares, the robot showcased smooth kung fu movements so realistic that many people mistook it for a human actor in a robot suit. It even held a microphone to interact with the audience and served food at the Tesla diner. Actions that require precise coordination of perception, control, and balance. While these demonstrations mark a major leap forward for Tesla, it's clear the company's ambitions go far beyond that. 
Musk has revealed plans to mass-produce Optimus Gen 4 at a scale of up to 10 million units and eventually Gen 5 with a staggering 100 million units in mind. Still, many observers remain skeptical as the Optimus Gen 3 hasn't even made its market debut yet. Even so, excitement around Optimus Gen 3 shows no signs of slowing down. Many in the tech community believe this will mark a major breakthrough for Tesla and humanoid robotics, combining cutting-edge advancements in artificial intelligence, mechatronics, and aesthetic design. However, there are growing signs that the project may be running behind schedule. Originally, Optimus 3 was expected to be unveiled at a major Tesla event in November, but several sources now suggest the launch could be pushed back to the first quarter of next year. The main reason reportedly is that perfecting the robot's hands has proven to be far more technically challenging than anticipated. Even Elon Musk himself has openly admitted in a recent meeting that commercializing Optimus is an incredibly difficult task. He emphasized that the robot's hands and forearms are among its most complex components, requiring a delicate balance of precision engineering, tactile sensing, and advanced software control. According to Musk, building a hand that can move fluidly, sense objects, and manipulate them like a human one is an engineering feat as challenging as creating the rest of the robot combined. These very challenges are what make Optimus Gen 3 one of the most anticipated tech projects today. A milestone that could redefine the future of humanoid robotics in the age of artificial intelligence. Like, if, if Optimus, I think, could probably achieve 5x the productivity of a person per year because it can operate 24-7. It doesn't even need to charge. It can operate it tethered. Uh, so it's it's plugged in the whole time. During Tesla's latest financial results announcement, Elon Musk emphasized the enormous potential of the Optimus robot when compared to human labor. He noted that in theory, a robot could work continuously 24 hours a day without needing rest, food, or sleep, all of which naturally limit human productivity. At that rate, each Optimus robot could reach around 8,760 working hours per year, while the average human worker puts in about 2,000 hours annually. This gap, Musk explained, is the basis for his claim that a robot's productivity could be up to five times higher than that of a person. However, he also acknowledged that this figure is only an estimate as robots would still require regular maintenance to ensure consistent performance. One of Optimus' greatest strengths lies in its ability to maintain consistent, 